Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Where's the boa, Lola? She can't find the boa, man. It's, it's, it's probably deteriorated by now. I just want no, to see it. It's what? moved to every place we've yeah, been but you, since Johnny was last on. Yeah, you probably don't even want to. You Have you denounced all of those things you did in the past? I have not okay. denounced them. I mean, okay. gun gossip, for people that don't know, gun gossip was something I did in 2018. It was a lot of fun, and a little bit last year. It was a lot mm -hmm. of fun, mm -hmm. and I wore feathers. But I'm mm -hmm. telling you, Hank, those feathers go everywhere, Yeah. and there's yeah. no escaping <laughs> the feathers. So I moved last summer, moved houses. I threw all the feathers in the trash can. I washed my hands of them. IV888888888 Eric told me one time, because I had filmed in his studio like a lot of guys have, and he said – about every two to three months down in his studio where they film, a little feather will float by the screen. <laughs> There's no escape. I believe feathers, it. Those were good days, man. Yeah. We had fun. Those things are also really hot. So I guess. Miserable. Yeah. I guess they worked to keep you warm. I don't know. <laughs> you know, but yeah, they worked. Uh, let's see. Here's a question that someone's asking. Um, someone asked about, where is that question now? The questions are just flowing through here. Oh, here it goes. Kathleen Music Lover wants to know, what does Johnny think about Joe Exotic? Oh, my gosh. You know, I think the interesting thing, and of course, I've binge watched Tiger King like everybody else because 20 Tigers is 20 Tigers, y'all. But I think I think that show hit at the right time, Hank. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really did. Like, it was a phenomenon. And yeah. here's what gives me chills. Like, if you were to show show me the beginning of that show, You've got Doc Antley with uh, his harem of underpaid women. No, that all that's, they want is yeah, him. that's my. If you gotta identify with someone on that show, I'm going with Doc. That that's my point right yeah. there. You show me Doc <laughs> Antley. You show me Tiger King who like lures straight men in with meth and tigers. Yeah. And then you show me Carol F. and Baskin. And then you show who's gonna come out looking the best in this, and it's Doc Antley. Yeah, man. Like he's, he's insane. He's a, it's it, yeah, it's really really crazy, and it's almost like they planned the the coronavirus so that they could blow up <laughs> dude somebody's making stupid money the big takeaway that i think the internet kept saying is who knew that tigers were only two thousand dollars like who knew that yeah. like an adult tiger was two grand if if uh i'm gonna tell you something if i would have known that when i lived in new york when city we young, yeah i would have had a tiger <laughs> when we were younger like that would have been a bad decision and a half yeah what do i think about joe exotic you know on some levels i kind of feel sorry for him like i i think he had a hard life growing up i, I imagine he had some really really traumatic experiences mm -hmm. i think he's interesting i think uh he is probably not somebody i would ever do a business deal with because he's probably a crook mm -hmm. but i can't get enough of that show hank it is fantastic yeah um, I watched it. Lola was uh, like, I think after the first episode, Lola was like, I don't even want to see this. I don't. That's because want... Lola has class, and yeah. you and I are a mess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's like, this is too disturbing. I was like, I'm going all the way. Um, I did. I did not see the. You know, Netflix put up an extra episode. I haven't seen that yet. My son saw it, and he's a really good taste of media. He's mm -hmm. 17, and he said it's, it's um. Hosted by Joel McHale, who is sharp, sharp, and he said it is a ride. Said it's fantastic. Said it's a, oh. it's definitely worth a watch. Okay. So I'm gonna hook that up this weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna probably look at that myself. The, so Joe Exotic, the only because there's a lot of disturbing stuff in there about him, um, like his treatment of animals is terrible. You know, that's a, I don't know, I can't deal with that. And as a guy like my dog, for people who watch my. Uh, my YouTube channel where I do gun stuff, you probably have noticed you don't hear my dog whining and complaining in the background because he's no longer with us. Ah. You know, um, like to go to go and, you know, shoot these tigers and stuff like that and take them. I think that's – I don't like zoos at all, man. I think there's certain, there's certain things, you know, that we should never do, and zoos are one of the worst things that we could do. I know probably some people think, oh, it's gun guy saying that. Yeah, I think it's terrible, man. Let those animals roam free somewhere and leave them alone. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of animals that do really well in zoos. I'm not an ornithologist, mm -hmm. but there's some that do really well, especially socialized animals. They have a blast, especially mm – -hmm. I was reading a book once where you're removing that fear of predation away mm -hmm. from them. Okay. And so you can have these animals that live these really calm and great environments, but it's not the, the money-making animals. 
the things that really bother me are like the polar bears doing these repetitive behaviors mm -hmm. and putting their heads against the wall. That is freaking animal torture. Mm -hmm. I am all for killing and subduing this world and shoot the animal. Let's put it on the barbecue grill quickly and humanely. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Gun guy, that's fine. Yeah. I had chicken for lunch. Yeah. But I'm fine with that. But what you see people doing to like the killer whales and stuff like that, that's actually not really cool. You know, confining no, like, them. They need like miles and miles to have a, you know, everything they need and they put them in a little tank and then charge money. I think the whole orca thing and the dolphin thing is those days are those days are numbered. Yeah. I'll tell you how I learned about this. And and, and the whole thing with Joe Exotic reminds me of this. When I lived in, in New York, I think I was like, I don't know, maybe when I was like uh, 17, 18, something like that. Uh, I was living on my own and um, I decided to get an aquarium. And then I decided I got to put, I can't just put regular fish in there. I actually, from somewhere in New York City, bought a shark. Okay. So I had a little baby shark. I put him in an aquarium. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, this shark is, he's lonely. And this is a for real shark. Looked like jaws just like on a small scale, right? And um, I, so I had this shark and he was in there. I was like, oh, let me put some friends in there. And then one day I'm looking at the aquarium and the shark just comes up. One the other, and just chews him up and eats him. And I just, I was like, what the hell is happening? Nature is metal, man. Nature is metal. Everything yeah. is looking to predate or get away from the predators. Yeah. When I saw that, I freaked out. And that was the end of having, like, to me, I was like, okay, this doesn't, because, you know, how can you take a shark and put them in a, in a, in a, this is a little aquarium. doesn't matter. I know people have sharks and they've got big aquariums and all that, but really sharks should just be in the ocean. And we yeah, leave, leave them out. Alone. Yeah, we should yeah, leave them I agree. Alone. Now, I want to circle back on something you said yeah. a minute ago where you said, hey, I know that I'm a gun guy, but I'm also not for like locking up smart animals. I mean, pigs are smart. Pigs are mm -hmm. almost as smart as a chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. And so are octopi, like mm -hmm. crazy smart animals. You said, hey, I'm a gun guy, but I think I think this thing, this elephant, no pun intended, this elephant that sits in the room mm -hmm. of what people think gun, gun guys are. Mm -hmm. And like even you were saying, well, I'm allowed to be sensitive. It's okay for me to not want animals mistreated. Yeah, I'll go out and blow something away and put it on the grill mm -hmm. uh, humanely. Mm -hmm. But how about this idea that we almost have to just like stop and go, hey, I'm a gun guy, but mm -hmm. I can still have these other feelings. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, uh, our friend John Lovell with him being a warrior poet, his whole idea is we can be, you know, mindful of how we live. We can be. Uh, thoughtful in our lives and want to go out and just do mag dumps and scream America. Yeah. What do you think? I think a lot of gun guys are responsible. I think a lot of gun guys believe in nature. People just don't believe that. Like I live in the country. I love, I have trees around me. I love nature and all that kind of stuff. I w I've never b actually been hunting, but I would go hunting. I wouldn't hunt something, kill something that I'm not going to eat or someone else is not going to eat. You know, um, so that that's the way, like, I, for example, I actually don't, I don't eat pork. I know there's going to a bunch of gun guys out there screaming right now, but I don't. I, you know. Bacon is good, man. Yeah, I just grew up like that. My dad grew up as a seven-day Adventist, and uh, he just didn't allow us to, yeah, I didn't grow up eating pork and stuff like that. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of things we shouldn't eat anyway. So um, I, I don't do it. So if, let's say I went hog hunting or something like that. I would have to have that meat donated to someone or whatever. That's just the way I think about it. So I, I th I'm down with that. And I think a lot of gun guys are like that. And yes, at the same time, I will do mag dumps and blow stuff up. <laughs> it's cause yeah. it's America. Yeah. yeah. And I'm fine with that, especially if it is a varmint, like, like, uh, I wouldn't mind. We had a, a we had a 25 pound possum mm -hmm. in the garage the other day. And that possum needs to thank the Lord that it's still on planet earth. Because I chased it around the house, and uh, I would probably kill that for no reason. I'm not eating a possum, at least not today. Yeah, yeah. But it's a mess, and yeah. I think just the idea, I think it's okay for gun guys to be varied because we're locked in too many boxes, yeah. by far too many boxes. Yeah, we're not the same. Also, like I was going to say to you, man, I don't like little tiny creatures, by the way. What do you mean, anything little that, tiny? Anything that's a little tiny thing, I don't like. So I don't like spiders and lizards and all those little tiny things. Don't like them. Don't like Tonight it. is uh, Animal Wonderland <laughs> with Hank and Johnny. And like, so for example, when this, and sometimes there's big spiders because I do live out in nature. When I see those things in the house, guess who has to take care of that? Lola. That's right. <laughs> so there you go. All right, let me ask you this. <laughs> Dispelling all the myths, all the myths right now. <laughs> Hijacking.
Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.